In this video, find out how to use these vinyl siding hangers to mount your security cameras, solar panels, and motion sensors. Find out all you need to know about these vinyl siding hangers to make the best use of them. They are great for hanging things on vinyl siding without drilling holes, but did not hold the 12 pounds they were rated for. But don't worry, as I have a hack that will make them hold at least 12.5 pounds in my testing. When it comes to installing security cameras and other items on the outside wall of your house, Drilling holes is not always the best way. It's definitely not the easiest. If you have vinyl siding, then these hangers are the perfect solution and maybe just what you need. Let's find out more about them next. Fracking Creations, showing you the good stuff on vinyl siding hangers. If you haven't watched our other videos on easy solar power for security cameras, extra long USB power cables, and portable laptop stands, check them out too. These vinyl siding hangers can be used to hang a lot of other things including house address signs, solar lights, cables, and more. Not to mention that these are not permanent. Just reposition at any time if you need to change install locations. These are also a great solution for renters where your tenant agreement prevents you from drilling into walls. See? We have this security camera installed outside an apartment unit too. This is good stuff. They are made of stainless steel, so they shouldn't rust and are good for outdoor use. Links to these in the description. Note that the supplied screws have different head sizes. In my set, there are two different sizes supplied. For our Eufy cam install, the supplied screws did not fit the mount, so we had to go to the local home hardware store to buy machine screws that have heads that fit and were longer. FYI, the screw thread size is 832. Installing security cameras and motion sensors. When used to install security cameras or motion sensors, you will likely use two or more hangers since most mounts use three mounting screws and only two will line up at once. If you use our hack to make these hangers hold more weight, then two screws should be enough to hold the cameras up. Find out how to do the hack later in this video. For our installation, we use two hangers because these UFI mounts only use two screws and as for the motion sensor mount, only two will line up at a time. A good thing to note is that for three screw mounts, attach to the hangers using the bottom two holes. The reason is that you can use a screw and nut to fill the top hole for a more secure hold. Here's why. Normally, if you tilt the clip up like this, it will eventually release its hold when lifted high enough. So one thing to do for the three screw mounts would be to attach a screw and nut in the top hole such that it pushes the top of the mount outwards. This prevents or at least makes it harder for the mount to lift up when it's windy out or for whatever reason. When it doesn't tilt up, it is more secure. Some people mount the cameras on a backing plate using all screw holes, then mount the plate on the vinyl siding hangers. If done right, it can make it so that the hangers hold more securely. You can use the method that suits you best. Installing solar panels. For the solar panel install, note that there are four corners to attach. You want to attach all four corners so that if it gets windy, the panel won't easily act like a sail and get ripped off. Unfortunately, the size of the panel doesn't exactly match with where the hangers will hook into the vinyl siding on all four corners. Here's the simple solution. We're going to use these keyhole bracket hangers to act as adjustable brackets at the bottom. Note that they are zinc plated to better withstand the weather. First, attach the solar panel loosely to the top two hangers. Note that the grommets on this particular solar panel are larger and will not work with most screws. So I use some stainless steel finishing washers that are slightly larger than the panel grommets and also fit the screws we are using. Find more details on all the items used in the video description below. Attach the keyhole brackets to the vinyl siding hangers using screws. Make sure to keep them slightly loose. Then insert the bottom hangers into the siding. Next, position one end of the bracket to line up with the lower solar panel grommets. Once you have the positions lined up, tighten the screws on the keyhole bracket to secure in place. Then tighten the top vinyl hanger screws, making sure to center the finishing washer. The two bottom brackets and grommets should still line up. Lastly, attach and tighten the bottom brackets using the finishing washers, screws, and nuts. That's all to it. A very secure solar panel install that looks good and can be repositioned without much trouble. Vinyl Siding Hanger Hack As mentioned before, our hack was needed to make sure the clips can hold more weight. Here's how it works. 
Take two pliers and carefully bend the corners of the clips downwards like this. When doing this, just be careful not to let the clips slip when you are bending. You can scrape or cut yourself, so wear work gloves to protect your hands and safety glasses too. When bent down enough, the two corners will act as hooks that hold on stronger to the vinyl siding. Note that it will also be harder to push the hangers into the siding. That's all there is to it. Note that since not all vinyl sidings are the same, your vinyl siding may not hold as much as ours. You will need to test the hack to see if it is good enough for your application. In any case, the hack should improve the original weight holding capacity out of the box. Also, note that there are different brands of these vinyl siding hangers, so I can't speak for the ones that are different than the ones I used here. Find links to the ones we used in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please share, like, and subscribe to our channel.